I made a game in three days and now you're maybe wondering why would anybody do that in that short amount of time? And the answer to that is for a game jam. If you don't know what the game jam is, I'll let my friend Jeff explain that to you. Game jam equals make a game with a given theme in a short amount of time. In this case, three days. Thank you, Jeff. Very cool. With that being said, seems like an easy task, right? Right? So I woke up the day this jam started and like every other responsible game dev, I just completely forgot about the jam. So yeah, that's a small problem. But luckily as I was scrolling through Twitter, I saw the tweet about this jam's theme and I remembered... Oh shit. Something's not right. Make a game with the following mm -hmm, mm -hmm. topic. And the topic is... Collaborate with AI. Ooh, okay. Okay, I think I can work with that. But unbeknownst to me to that time, I couldn't really work with that. I thought for minutes, I, I thought for days, weeks, years. Uh, okay, maybe not years. And maybe not even days, yeah. But I thought for at least one or two hours what my game will be about when it finally clicked. I wanna create a puzzle game with some sort of like robot companion where you can place waypoints, which the robot then goes through in the right order. And the robot can do stuff such as activating pressure plates or picking up crates and delivering them to the next waypoint. And I was certain that that would be the game. I started by making a Trello board with the most basic stuff I want to implement such as player movement or waypoint system. So I made a new project and added BEAM. Then I gave this mysterious beam the ability to look and move around. I put together a sick flag model which will be used for the waypoints. And now get ready, get ready. It can place waypoints, hell yeah. Currently the waypoints just spawn inside the player and I made it so they spawn where the player looks at and for now the waypoints are done. As the legendary Grandmaster and Elder of the Village, Gabe Newell used to say though, cool puzzle games need stuff like uh, pressure plates or something, I don't know. And that's why I put together a pressure plate by literally just putting two cubes together. And I also added movable platforms that move when the pressure plates get activated. One main component is still missing though and that is the robot so i modeled a robot that definitely is not inspired by some sort of other third party and i actually came up with this all by myself because i'm a pretty smart guy you know and i've decided to call this robot Jeff. I also came up with this name all by myself. No one in my Discord or anything like that sent it to me. Then I made it so Jeff can actually interact with the environment and now he can activate pressure plates and he can also carry crate. And last but not least, I don't know why, but every fun game has some sort of like tires or bouncy wheels. So I decided why not put them in my game. With everything ready, I just had to design some levels and put them together in Unity, which I literally did over the course of two days because I I was too lazy to just think about some levels but in the end I think everything came together nicely and at some point I got too distracted by making levels that I just decided to add some voice lines for Jeff which wasn't even originally planned so that's a little fun fact and he even has some pretty damn good life advice so if you just need some advice for your life don't hesitate to ask Jeff. Bouncing on tires never gets old but I do and time flies by. We should enjoy life to the fullest, and not getting mad, or angry over smaller things. Coo. I am a fat, flying, coo. Why am I not round, or even, well modeled? I think we will never know. With that being said, I made a main menu, I added some options and a about section, and of course a level select. With everything done and put together like that, the game is done. If you want, you can download it for free on itch.io, uh, link is in the description. Besides that, I also have released my first mobile game. If you want, you can check it out. It's called Wallball, there will also be a link in the description. It's currently on the Google Play Store. Um, I will make a video about that in about one or two weeks. So if you want, you can already check it out, like a little pre-release or something. I don't know. Yeah. That's it for me, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, as always, smash like gamers and join my discord. Uh, Gabe Newell also told me that everyone on the discord server has a huge PP, but don't tell anyone and smash subscribe.